On the previous two problems, we discuss about first to try to factor a quadratic equation, if possible. If not, complete the square. If not, the last method that should be used is a quadratic formula because it's just a bit more work. And sometimes it can be a little more challenging. So first, if I try to factor this trinomial, this quadratic equation, I can use my double parentheses. And factors of x squared will give me x and x. Factors of 4 are 2 and 2 or 4 and 1. Either way, I'm not going to be able to get the negative 12x that I need. So this cannot be factored. Now, to complete the square, you need to have an x squared with a coefficient of 1, which we do. And your value of b should be even. Now, if it's odd, we still are able to do it by getting a little more challenging with fractions. If you have a leading coefficient, we still are able to do it by getting a little more challenging or a lot more challenging. So in this case, we are going to complete the square. Now, if you use a quadratic formula, you'll get that same answer. But remember that you have to use one method, each method once. We already use factoring. We already use quadratic formula. We have to use completing the square. To complete the square, I'm going to place my x's and y's on the left. So I'm going to leave them on the left. This is just my x's, my x squared, my x. And I'm going to move my 4 to the right because it's a positive 4. And I'm going to make space for my square because we are completing the square. And that's equal to 4. And I'm going to complete the square, so I'm going to place the square in. So to complete the square, I'm going to take half and then I'm going to square it. Remember, the actual formula is b divided by 2 and then square. So you got b, you're going to divide by 2, and then square. So divide by 2 gives me 6. 6 and 6 is 36. Plus 36. Whenever you place it uh, here and here, it's always positive because you are squaring it. So double parenthesis, I'm going to factor the left-hand side. And on the right, I'm going to 4 plus 36 gives me 40. Factors of x squared gives me x and x. Factors of 36 will be 6 and 6. This is a positive, so they should have the same sign. They need to add to a negative 12, so they both should be negative. Now, since they're exactly the same, I'm going to combine them into 1. I'm going to have x minus 6 squared is equal to 40. And I'm going to get rid of the square by taking the square root on both sides. The square root and the square cancel. So I have x minus 6 is equal to. I'm going to simplify the square of 40. I'm looking for perfect squares that divide 40, and the case will be 4 times 10. 4 is a perfect square. Square of 4 is 2, and we still have a square of 10. And let's not forget about your plus or minus. The last step is to move the negative 6 to the right, we can say positive 6. And that will be your answer.